my distance, I won't lie. I've been in search of a better life, wondering where it takes me, wondering if it breaks my heart. But I know a city that loves me back. Open doors when I'm under attack. Andrew Warren. When it's time to head on back to the start. It's a little bit from uh, Andrew Horn, the song Utica. Local native, Whitesboro graduate, moving to New England, the Boston area, but uh, composing this song along with a video called Utica, highlighting his hometown and his area. And uh, right now, Andrew is on the phone. Let me pick it up. Andrew, good morning. How are you? Hey, good morning. And uh, how are you doing? Very good. Thank you, Jay. Thanks for having me on. All right. And uh, I have uh, attorney Mark Wolber sitting in with me uh, this this morning, helping me out as uh, my co-host Dave is on vacation. Nowhere near Boston. He's in Florida right now wearing a pair of shorts. You're in Boston, right, Andrew? That's right, yeah. How is it out there? How's the weather situation? You know, it's crazy. Like, one day it's negative 20, the next day it's 55 degrees. So today it's sunny and beautiful. Yeah, same here. We were talking about that yesterday. We were, uh, just a couple days ago, negative 15 or so yesterday. (laughs) It reached like 45, you know, 50, 60 degree difference. Pretty crazy, you know? It it really is. There's no rhyme or reason anymore. So you're in Boston, but you're still uh, experiencing the upstate central New York weather, huh? Of course. All right, so... Tell us a little bit about the background of the song. You're a, you're a native. You uh, Whitesboro grad, right? That's right. Yeah, I went I went to Utica um, Elementary Schools and then Whitesboro High School. And um, did your your sister Katie? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So I graduated with Katie, and your mom was a teacher. She was a great lady as well. So pretty neat connection here, right? Small world. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Um. So so give us the uh, the idea and the background. Moving to Boston for certain situations, school, work. Yeah, I ended up moving to Boston to uh, go to X-ray school out here with all the big hospitals. So, um, but there's you know there's always there's no place like home. So uh, out here, um, I'm a transplant, and it's always wonderful to make that short drive home and uh, just be around people that know me, people that love me, and uh, you know Utica has a big heart, and, uh, and the food is awesome. So I got to make my trip back once in a while. What do you miss the most as far as the food goes? Well, I was I was telling people that um, you you actually can't find good bagels like Bagel Grove. Really, I'm, I'm a big fan. I don't think people know how good those bagels really are once you step out. <laughs> well, we're gonna blow away. We're gonna blow the people's minds in Boston. We'll have Annie from the Bagel Grove. We'll send you some of the Utica Greens bagels. Have you had a Utica Greens bagel? I have not. So they that is they take the, the Utica Greens, yeah, and they incorporate it in the bagel. So maybe we can get some of those out there for you. Wow, that would be a treat. Have you met other folks in the Boston area from central New York or Utica? Absolutely. You know, there seems to be a huge population of people from Buffalo and Rochester. All right. So what gave you the inspiration to make this song Utica? We just played a little clip going into uh, coming out of the break, going into the phone call with you. But, yeah, what was the idea behind it? I mean, I think it was just it's about, um, you know, growing up there and, and sometimes being frustrated with Utica mm-hmm. and then eventually moving to Boston and then realizing, hey, that was a wonderful place. That's where my family is. That's where my memories are. And every time I get a chance to go back and visit, uh, I don't have to be anybody but me. You know, I don't have to put on a show. Um, I don't have to make a name for myself like I'm trying out here in Boston. I'm just Andrew from Utica, and it's just wonderful to be in a place where people know you and you know every inch of the city well put man well put because uh, you know that is obviously the conversation a lot of times i'm sure you being a young guy you moved you saw a lot of your friends move out of the area and that is something that we've talked about a lot with elected officials uh just folks business end in general of retaining that you know youth, the the young folks, to stay in our area and continue to build on either their communities, their families, their businesses themselves. Um, but as you mentioned, you know, there's always a connection, even when you leave. And we've had many stories like yours throughout the, uh, you know, the different, the different years and the different guests coming on our show that say, you know what, I left Utica, but Utica never really left me. Yeah, and I just want to say really quickly that when I posted this video, um, on Facebook, it's gotten 500 likes. But the coolest thing is that there's hundreds of comments now from people that live here and people that used to live here, and they're all leaving their memories. And they're saying, you know, I, I moved in '87, but Utica is still home, 
And it's so good to see all that positivity directed towards Utica right now online. Awesome, Andrew. What's your musical background? Uh, Why did you decide to do this? Is you, you in a band? You've been playing guitar for a while now. Well, tell us about. Yeah, it. I mean, I, 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 you know, it's, it's. Uh, I got my first guitar at Big Apple Music many years ago. Look at that. Um, and uh, I've been playing ever since. And, and, and music's just a great creative outlet. Awesome. Is there a place that folks can you can direct folks to if they want to check out the video or the song itself? Absolutely. I've got the video up on my website right now. It's andrewhornmusic.com. Awesome, Andrew. We're going to play a little bit of the song here uh, at the end of the the end of the end break. And uh, hopefully when you get back, you get get some of those bagels. And if you have an opportunity, you plan on coming back anytime soon? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be here visiting my family for Easter. Awesome. And if you have the opportunity, stop in. You want to perform, you're more than welcome, all right? I'll definitely take you up on that. All right, Andrew. Thanks for uh, checking in with us. I appreciate it. Best of luck, buddy.